Welcome back. So, as you recall from the episodes leading up to this, we're about to fight a dragon. And I'm not scared at all. I'm just telling myself that now. Who dares approach me? Zoinks, he is a biggin. Hmm. So, you are friends of the strange garbled one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. Sorry, I got distracted by something on my desk. Hmm. <clears throat> That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Well, well, well. We'll see about that. Oh man, he doesn't even fit on the screen. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsels should I taste first? Alright, here we go. We have full FP, full HP. We've got the badge that gives me cricket noises. And as we know from the note earlier, crickets scare this guy. So, let's see if we can't whack him. Bleck, that awful sound. It sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Ugh, I got really bad food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hooky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. All right, we've got him on the ropes. Let's take this nerd downtown. Whoa, okay, I wasn't ready for that technique. Um, I'm gonna switch to Gumbella and try to get a read on this fellow. First, let's give him a bit of a hammer thwack. Oog, must not gag my poor tummy. So very woozy. Whew. Even when you defend against this guy's attacks, it still does sizable damage. Oh, someone in the crowd's being rowdy. So rude. Okay, let's tattle. That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It'll stomp and munch on you, and it has a more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. It hates things that start with Kerr and ends with Ickit. Supposedly there's something related to that somewhere in the castle. Did we find it? Yes, we did, Goombella. Yes, we did. Okay, let's give this guy a smash. I don't think there's a way to block that one. That I can tell, anyway. Alright, so I'm going to swap for Koops, because I think Koops has some better star attacks. Speaking of which, I'm going to give a nice big smash. Yeah, that does crazy damage. Ow, what the? Okay. So maybe I was able to dodge. Thankfully the dizziness didn't affect Koops' attack. It says it might make him miss. Oh, hey. Stage is coming down on this guy. 
This fight is going incredibly in my favor. Okay, we've got him on the ropes. Let's give him a smash on the toe. You're going down. Wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah, to prove it, I'll give you a thousand coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, fiend. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind. And it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you cad. Er, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my f What is it with this guy and feet? That's weird. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now, really. So? Care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? That's disgusting. Hmm. <clears throat> you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. I guess I'd better... Hey, he's running away. <sighs> oh my gosh, he's eating my audience. That's horrible. That's just not right. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. Whoa, we're fighting in the audience. This is awesome. Although now we don't get help from the audience. It's a good thing I didn't use up my star power. Let's give this guy a power smash. We still got lots of FP. Blurp. Why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a cricket? Nice dodge. I feel like I've leveled up sufficiently for this battle. I'm feeling good. Let's give him a normal smash. And he's down for the count. I hope, unless he has another trick up his sleeve. But, but, I, I, how, why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. I feel you there, buddy. And look at that. We've got enough for a level up. I wonder what I should put into this time. I'm thinking FP. I would like to use more advanced and powerful techniques during battle. We've been low on HP a couple of times, but I never feel super in peril. I think we'll be okay. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for. Ooh, ooh. What's up with this dragon? It's got indigestion. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it, it can't be. Huh? D Dad? Hey, you're, you're Coops. Hey, son. You've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with that hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. Oh, we didn't fall for that foot thing. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then. Ten years. Inside hooktail's belly, and boy was it nasty. Yuck. I'm so glad to finally get out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought you'd... You know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? 
I'm the giant crystal star? Yeah, probably. What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect. Just perfect. You can have it. Come now. I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please, take it. Right on. Here goes our first crystal star. We've done it. You got a crystal star, and you learned the special move, Earth Tremor. That sounds intense. Probably hits all enemies, except flying ones, if I had to guess. Hey, and we uh, finished out the chapter. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Well, that's for darn sure. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. I wonder what's going to happen next. this princess peach gets her whole like sort of side storyline oh great exalted grotius is it grotius grotus grotus Ooh. well it's a good bad guy name i guess we brought the princess peach you ordered sir well 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 my pet isn't it about time you told us where the map is Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Protus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario. Excuse me, Mario? Oh no. Gak, 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 gak. I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men. Take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump. These guys got some great names. If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boogly Woods. Boogly Boggly. Reading is hard. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit... out there. Hmm. x not. I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus, sir? Grotus, sir? Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The, the sh Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. 
Gotcha. It's tricky trying to come up with voices for all the different characters. <clears throat> the Honorable Grotus has need of us? Then we arrive without delay. Oh, I love them. They're so cool. They've got, like, the best designs. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Beldum. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the x Not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We have a job to do. Gah. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, well. I wonder what's going to happen to Princess Peach. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick again. Hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. And now we play as Princess Peach. She doesn't seem to have any techniques. But she does have a curious nature. Hmm. Doesn't seem to open. But this one does. Man, deluxe bathroom. Nicer than mine. What a lovely shower. No soap scum, even. Wow, I wonder if it works. <laughs> Just going for it, huh? Ah, <laughs> It's easy how I react to showering, too. Just giggling. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Cutest hairstyle in the whole world. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, there's nothing else I can interact with. See if anything's changed in my quarters. It looks like this used to be a janitor's supply closet or something. There's a broom over there. Hmm? What was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. That is odd. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Doesn't work. So it's like I'm being guided. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Ooh, spooky. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Grotus. Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure, 
an unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really because it's just too weird. <laughs> please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love... How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy, just to see that person happy. Smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness? Fun? I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you can comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? Oh boy. <laughs> what? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me to understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You ex jerks kidnapped me, like common Koopas. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? <laughs> why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient, address, and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh, okay then. Good night. Man, that was weird. <laughs> Good night, Princess Peach. Zoinks. Alright. I guess we'll leave it here for now. I'll find out what the heck's going on with Mario when we come back.